Hello, last time we read until chapter 6. Oh, sorry, but this book is called by... This book is called Funny Kids and Mad Scientist Launch on Rocks Among Us, Jim Benton. So, we are going to finish the book today. Yay! Back in... Back in her room, Franny looked over her notes. She made her some calculations and puzzled over findings. Nice kids, she said finally. Kind of boring, but really nice. That night, Franny dreamed about much, how much fun it would have been to play dolls with those girls or to trade sandwiches at lunch. Even softball looked fun in spite of the fact that they used the kind of bat that didn't have cute veiny wings. Chapter 7 Making Monsters Early the next morning, as she was getting ready for school, Fanny pulled down her copy of a treasury of monster making t techniques and turned to the chapter on transformations. In particular, she, chap she studied the part that explained how to transform a little girl mad scientist into something else. Carefully cut on the dotted lines on just the next two pages. I know just what to do, she said, and she began combining honey, vanilla, jelly beans, and pink soda. She powered the formula into a tall, pretty glass decorated with a happy sheet holding a puppy wearing the apples. Ugh, she said. How cute can you get? She put the mixture into one of her... inventions and programmed in her notes. The machine began to hum and shake and buzz and bake and then finally it banged. Just like a microwave, microwave when your microwave popcorn is ready. Friend gazed at the Potion. She held her nose and drank it. She ran to the mirror and watched a strange transformation take place. When Franny came downstairs to breakfast, her mom took one look her and her and dropped her toast. Her dad choked on his coffee. Her brother's eyes almost popped out of his head. Funny, her mother said. You look so nice. Funny did look nice. Her hair was cute. Her dress was pretty. Her shoes were adorable. She didn't really look like Franny anymore, but she looked nice, kind of. Thanks, Mom, she said. Here is a description of something I prepared for lunch. It is strange and horribly exotic, but I, I'd appreciate if it it if you could give it a try. Her mom looked at the recipe that Franny had given her. This is jelly and peanut butter between white bread slices, she said. 
I'm pretty sure I can make this Friday. I've been making it for years. Excellent, Fanny said, and she rubbed her hands together in a mad scientist way. Chapter 8 A Transformed Fanny. I think this chapter might be the last chapter of today, so let's read it carefully. Until it might be until here. Okay. I think so. Chapter 8 A Transformed Fanny. Before school, Franny met some of the girls from her class. Franny had a modif modified Champolina with her. Now Champolina played happily happy music and skirted perfume and glitter and came with her own nail polish and a rainbow colored unicorn with a long tail you could braid. The other girls loved Trampolina and crowded around her. Fanny thought it was fun playing with the girls, but deep down she missed the old Trampolina. At lunchtime, Fanny pulled out her PBJ Sandwich. The peanut butter had been artfully smoothed and the jelly had been applied equally from one corner to the other. The bread was so blazingly white that Franny needed sunglasses to look at it. Her mom had even trimmed the crust and the other kids noticed it. they smiled with approval. Franny took a bite and found it to be totally, completely and incredibly average uninter e Thing and no big deal. She had expected so much more, but her experiment experiment seemed to working. So she finished the mushy sandwich. At recess, Franny suggested they play softball. She consulted her notes quickly and added, "I think it best." We use a ball instead of a skull or giant squid eyeball. Or something gruesome like that. The other kids were a bit puzzled, but they agreed. Fran had fun playing with them. But deep down, she knew that game would have been much more fun with a skull or giant squid eyeball. After school, the kids said all said goodbye and few even asked to come over to their house and play. It was great to be asked, but Fran had to hurry straight home and analyze her day. She was happy. The other kids liked her, even if it was only a transform her. And next week, we'll read... Chapter 9, 10, how much chapters? There's chapter 9. There's until chapter 16, I... I think so, there's 16. Today we read 6, 7, 8. Now next time we'll be, I think, starting with from 9. So, bye-bye, goodbye, everyone. See you next time. This was the book.
called Fernie